Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Second Breakfast. I'm Andy Roth alongside Phil Duvall. We're doing something a little different today. It's called Five Minute Monday, so we're going to keep it to actually five minutes. We're going to do something called a uh, bucket list, things that we really, really, really want to see happen before we die. Today's bucket list is going to be the book that we really want to see turned into a movie, or if it's already been made in a movie, uh, done right. Um, that a good explanation? That yeah, that do it? Yeah, do it. Yeah. All right, Phil, what do you think? It, 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 mine's not a very good answer, and it's based on when I was a kid, kind not a kid, but like in my college years, which is I, I, I would love to see anything from J.D. Salinger made into a movie that w- 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 uh, that was done well, because <laughs> J.D. because J.D. Salinger is absolutely my favorite American author. Um, uh, he might not always be, but right now he is, and 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 has he, so deeply. Franny and Zoe is my favorite book of all time, and it would. I, Part of me, because I love it so much, would love to see him just do a whole thing on the Glass family to have someone do it. But a big part of me is like, never actually do that. Sure. Because sure. I'm scared of what would happen. But I can't help it. I want to see the Glass family's house. I want to see a movie based on them. Uh, I just, I also don't ever want to see it because I think it'll be a terrible idea. But I kind of want to see it before I die. Sure. Good. Uh, mine, there is a book an old roommate uh, recommended to me called Random Acts of Senseless Violence. And it is it is a it's a it's a book in diary format written by like a twelve year old girl or something like that. It's by a guy named Jack Womack and he somehow I don't know if he's actually a twelve year old girl, but it just perfectly captures what I mean, I was never a twelve year old girl, but it perfectly captures what Aren't I think you know? uh, the mindset is. It just sounds so authentic, but it's set in a slightly not post apocalyptic but sort of like that America. The okay. first couple diary entries are like, oh, my sister's bugging me. Oh, I love my mom and my dad, blah, blah, blah. And then like at the very, very end, she references a news program and she's like, I don't like Boston and Chicago. I'm glad they're burning. And you're like, what? And then, and then like, and she lives in New York. She lives in Manhattan with her, with her family. And then whatever is happening, the breakdown of society hits New York. And it is wrenching emotionally and also crazy exciting but uh, at, i mean exciting is a bad word because she right. she falls into with the wrong crowd but right. it is that can be ex- that can be exciting it's thrilling and uh, you put someone like chloe moretz or wow. uh, one of the 87 <laughs> fanning sisters who's awesome at acting uh, I think it be it could be truly something special. That's my that's you, my bucket list answer. I'll bet you the Fannings are are are, are related to the to the uh, Culkins in some way. Nice. We have four minutes. I'd like to say a couple things. I I I'm amending my answer. I would like them to make World War Z into a movie. Oh. They are making World War Z into a movie, but everything I've read about it tells me that it has nothing to do with the actual book. Not that zero. The, that that they could have actually made World War Z into a movie, and so I'm already mad at a movie that hasn't even been that is being made because I'm convinced that it's not going to be what the book should be. So I already I already am saying I would love for them to make that into a movie the way that it's supposed to be. Indeed. Um, I have another really, really cool idea for for a for a book turning into a movie that I it, again would have to be done right, okay? Sure. There's a thing called the Bible. You may have heard of it. Uh, there are no no hold on. Let me tell you more about it. In this book, there's a guy named Jesus. And this guy named Jesus, there are four different stories about his life in the book. Four different stories. One's written by a guy named Matthew, one by Mark, one by Luke, and one by John. They're, they're different stories with different emphases, different details, and they present – they all four paint different pictures of the same guy. I think it would be awesome to have the same director – make four different movies about Jesus with four different actors playing him based on the four different gospels. And they would be four totally different stories with similar beats and similar moments, but totally different stories. You know what's cool about that? It's like a biblical Rashomon from Kurosawa. It's all about like, yeah. the, it, it, that, that, yes. that would actually be pretty cool. That would be as, really cool. I, I like it as long as you could promise me that Kirk Cameron will be involved in absolutely zero capacity. Oh, I, yeah, no, no, yes. no, sorry. That's yeah, good, let, oh, that's good. I should have that clear from the beginning. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's a good bucket list. No. Uh, World War also, Z, the Bible, no. random acts of senseless violence. There's also a book by a guy named Mario Puzo. It's called The Godfather. They should make that into a movie sometime. They should. I hear it's been optioned. Guys, <laughs> uh, this has been Second Breakfast, Five Minute Monday. Uh, we're just making it under the wire. Uh, thanks very much. We'll, uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>